love your outfit. It's I love great. your outfit, Don. Oh you my God, amazing. it's old. It's old. Well, this is old too. I actually bought this in the Hamptons. You did when? Yes. Two years ago, my husband took me to the Maidstone Arms Inn, but he forgot to pack the luggage. This so I managed to go out shopping and buy a whole new wardrobe. I beat you. This is older than my two of my three children, this dress. I don't believe it's you. It's true. It's true. Well, you look stunning. Thank you. <laughs> Tell my audience, yeah. Kelly, why are you such a big supporter of Al Marilla's farm? You know, I didn't know anything about... Um, Amarillo's farm at all until my daughter was lucky enough to be invited to a birthday party uh, which sole purpose was to raise money for Amarillo's farm. She's really into um, riding her pony. She loves horses. She would live at a stable if I would let her and um, she's really um, taught me to love horses as much as she does and um, it's adorable yeah we had a, we had a, a lemonade stand on the hottest day of the summer this year in our little cul-de-sac and she sold lemonade and gave away free goldfish to raise money for Amaryllis farm and I finally said to Mark look just give us forty dollars and we'll shut this thing down it's too hot I can't stand out here anymore <laughs> so luckily he generously dug into his pockets he's so generous he's isn't very he? generous yes. isn't he but do you ride horses? Do you like to ride horses? No, I've never been on a horse. You've I'm well, actually, that's not true. I was on my first horse uh, in July in Prince Edward Island, Canada. They taught me how to ride a horse. And he had one eye. He was missing an eye. Oh, yeah, which, it's hysterical. You know, and, I, and it made me very nervous because he was walking like this. And I said, I, I feel like I should have a horse with two eyes. And they said, no, this horse is really gentle and he really focuses on what he's doing because he's missing an eye. And You're a he's little good. bit afraid of getting I'm afraid on of everything. Me too. I'm, I'm afraid, afraid of, of getting on shadow. Well, I'm not afraid of everything, but I'm afraid of getting on a horse. I'm a little bit afraid of heights and I'm afraid of falling off. But I think they're the most stunning, beautiful. beautiful creatures yeah. in the whole they entire really world. I, feel I really feel lucky that my daughter has introduced me to such a lovely, beautiful sport. And then we can come to nice events like this and maybe make some money and save some horses. I think you're absolutely right. And where should we all go to find out how to support and how well, to help and how to, to contribute? Definitely go to AmarillasFarm.com. Please. Please, please, please. Terrific. What Thank can I, you tell my audience about anything, new new projects that you might be working on? Oh, my gosh. Um, I know oh, you're doing the commercial. Yes. Well, yeah. But um, we have a show coming out in the fall called um, Homemade Millionaire, debuting on Your TLC. and you. Yeah, the two of us. It's we're. Going? Where this is my gorgeous hear. husband. This is her gorgeous husband with that sexy, handsome smile of his, Mark Consuelos. Good evening. Tell my audience, <laughs> tell my audience about yeah. this new project that you guys are working on. Oh, it's it's a, it's a show with TLC uh, where we take these women who have these amazing inventions. We take them out of their their home and we bring them to. New York City to fight it out, to slug it out for a shot to be on HSN. Do you have any inventions? You have any inventions? Game? You look like you have a few inventions somewhere. Excuse me, hey, Mark and Swillis. You are a married I, man. How I have you? some inventions, but they have to do with the hair. Oh, all right. <laughs> I like it. I like we it. take care inventions. Okay, you'll take care inventions. Yes, so we do. On television. Yes, we will. Okay, I like that. You're born that. to be on television. I will. I am. I've been You're on born TV with almost this microphone. 10 years. I, exactly. See, <laughs> but not exactly the way I'd like to. We're going to take it to the next level. We're going to take it to the next. Can next you hear level. That? Kelly and Mark are going to take you to the next, next level. level. That's right. Well, right. tell my audience about this. We, we, can they go to find out more information about this new show you're doing? Oh, on uh, TLC.com or um, our production Melojo. company, Melojo, M-I-L-O-J-O.com, and you can find out how you can become one of the inventors. I know that was just a ploy to get a kiss from him. <laughs> I'm on TV, We'll be lady. back in a moment with more interviews coming up. <laughs> Farm rescue event, and I'm here with Beth 
Atrosky. Stern. She looks, you look absolutely oh, thank amazing. You. Thank you. Tell thank, my, you. thank you very much. Tell my audience what you're wearing today. Oh, you know what? This is just a, um, it's a non designer Pete and non designer dress. I don't know. I don't beautiful. always wear designer, so thank you. It's a cheapo, but I feel good in it. So you don't always have to wear designer. I agree with you. I don't always wear designer either. What are you wearing? I'm wearing, well, you know, there's a story behind this dress. Two years ago, my husband took me to the Maidstone Arms in here in East Hampton, yeah. but he forgot to put the luggage in the, oh, in the no. car. Oh, no. So what, do you, what, did, what does you a girl do? You, you said have to it. Shop. I went shopping, and I bought this dress wow, at wow, one of the local amazing. stores in East Hampton. Wow. But enough about me. I'd like to know, Beth, why you are such a big supporter of Amaryllis Farm. Well, I just believe every animal deserves a chance at life. So saving an animal is the most important thing to me in my world, and that's my passion in life. And supporting a rescue that saves animals' lives, that's why I'm here. You're always at an event when it's about an animal. Yes. I know that about you. And you really you. are a wonderful young lady oh, for doing thank you. that. I, I'm selfish in that I get such a reward from helping and spreading the word and just being a voice for the animals that aren't able to speak. Yeah, and also tell me, do you love horses? I mean, do you actually ride them? Um, I don't. I used to when I was younger, but every animal, animal to me has a soul and deserves to live. So, and it's Absolutely. wonderful what Emerilis does. Absolutely. So I'm proud to be here, and their their mission is remarkable. Their mission is amazing. Tell my audience, um, what are you working on? Any new projects for yourself? Well, I just finished my book tour. I just wrote a book about dogs, Oh My Dog, and it's just a reference book on dogs. Every dog owner will be benefit, and their dogs will benefit from my book. And now I'm just being married and, and, and seeing what's next. Seeing what's next. Seeing what's Sounds next. good, darling. Thank Sounds you. good. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right, have a great night. Thank you. You look fab. Thank you. And we'll be back in a moment with more interviews coming up at the Amaryllis Farm Rescue event here in Britain. I said, I said, I'm a blonde, fallacy dressed to impress. One of a kind girl. This has been a Crybaby Productions, darlings.